Well, any of you sports fans probably remember the tagline of the wide world of sports. It was the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat. And that happens all the time here in my place. The thrill of victory and then the agony of defeat, which I really don't like to call it defeat. Let's just call it, um, well, I don't know. Let's just call it consternation, confrontation, worry, concern, um, lots of thinking, lots of um, trying to understand things. <laughs> Okay, so here's what's up. So I had this car going yesterday, and I did that little video for you guys with a, a highly interesting put transmission fluid in, and back in the out, didn't have the camera on the car totally, which I just didn't even think about it. I was busy. You know, the first move there, that's the first time that car has moved, and it's, it was, well, I don't know how long, long time. So, but anyway, so I drove it up and down the driveway, and then I went to drive it back up and driveway again, and when I fired the engine up, the oil light was staying on when I put it in gear. And I've had, as you remember, I had recent issues with that on another car over there. So, but I didn't really expect it on this one. Uh, I've had pretty good luck with slant sixes and oil pressure. And so I'm kind of digging into this to see what's going on with it. It didn't sound bad, but it definitely looked like it was losing oil pressure. But then again, this morning, when I fired it up to move it over here, uh, it hadn't seemed I had plenty of oil pressure. So I don't, I'm not sure what's up. I just know that this engine is a little bit dirty inside. It's kind of sludgy. So I don't know. It could be something going on that's the, uh, it's got some crap all over where it shouldn't be. But at this point, I don't know. But I'll show you what I do know when I was, Moving it over, well, I moved it over here and then I was gonna get under there. I've been under there. We got a jack stand up front, by the way. You can't see it. There's a corner of it. I was wondering. But uh, I was gonna do a couple things. I'm probably gonna start on the brakes because that, that caliper locked up just from using it yesterday. But I wanted to get under here and, and uh, deal with this oil pressure thing. So. I've got it jacked up and I'm gonna put the manual gauge on it. And verify. Oh, who's back? But I killed all you. Anyway, so uh you have to do that, you have to get under the engine on these, everything's underneath it. But when I got under here, I noticed there was a little drip coming off of something. And I was happy at first. I thought, oh, see that drip there? I thought, oh, okay, that's probably the oil pressure switch, which is on the bottom of the oil pump. It's just leaking. It's broken. That's why the light's coming on. You know, easy peasy. But it's not quite, not quite as simple as that. At least the drip isn't. So come on under here with me. All right. So on a slant six, you have the engine here, and then there's the oil pump. And there's a couple things going on. You have the oil filter mount there. You have the oil pressure slight switch right there. And then that's the pump mounts to the exterior of the engine. Well, the oil, <laughs> can be that simple. The oil is coming out of the cover. You see how wet it is? So there's, I don't know, five or six bolts to hold that cover on and then in turn they hold the pump to the engine. I don't know why this camera's having problems, but anyway, it's definitely leaking oil out of there. And that may explain our issue with the oil pressure doing some weird stuff because something like this is not so much what's coming out, that's what's going in. That means if the oil can leak out, it can suck air in and that causes cavitation and it makes your oil pressure kind of do some strange stuff so I'm not saying there's another not another problem that thing could be bad that switch it's not leaking but the other one was bad so anyway what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean off this whole shebang here and get to get where you can see the cover uh, man I dread that if that pump's gonna come apart which apparently it's going to because there's a, all there is, supposedly all there is in there is just the cover and there's an O-ring in it. So, yeah. 
Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna clean it off and then I'm probably gonna just go ahead and throw my gauge on there. I think that oil pressure switch is a different size than the one that's on a V8 for whatever reason. But we'll deal with it. We'll see what's going on. I don't want to tear this engine up, so you don't think this is why they parked it years ago, do you? Surely not. I don't believe that. Not one bit. Not at all. I mean, you see it doesn't look like it's been leaking anything, so I don't get it. <laughs> all right. I'll bring you back on this. I guess the economy still must be terrible. There's at least two long trains go by here per hour. Long trains. Terrible economy. All right, so you got me again under there. So if this is, looks like a fight's taking place out here, it has. I had to heat the doggone oil pressure sender up with a torch to get it out. It was in there. I didn't want to break it, so it's out. Got injured in the process, but it's out. So I've got the, I have the, uh, what's up here? Uh, oil manual gauge set up on there. So let's start this thing up. I don't think it'll be a problem to run it with it. Jump on the side like this. Anyway, got the gauge on here. So let's start this bugger up and see what we get. Yeah, that's not exactly great oil pressure. It comes up near the end. I think I'm going to set the idle to the spec and see if we're right on that. I think we're pretty close now. This running, park is running about 15, uh, 14 pounds. Uh, I'm not sure about that. 
and that oil pump is definitely leaking. So we got we got oil pump problems for sure. I cleaned it off and it is seeping. As you can see, what was that? Doing that for all the way around the cover and it's back on that again. So anyway, okay, so we gotta address something with this oil pump. But we'll get to that. I have other problems. Out of that. Alright.